okay okay so uh, usually let's say if there's a, there is an uh, a lead generated okay let's say there's a lead generated from uh, by a, via phone call so if somebody makes a phone call and uh, they uh, ask to generate a lead okay in that case uh, if that lead is a high priority lead they want to alert somebody they want to create some alert okay or they want to assign a, a task to somebody okay so on so usually in normal uh, environment what they will do they will have to do these processes manually okay but in salesforce there are, pro there are functionalities available where you can automate all these processes okay so on create of any record or on update of any of the field okay if you want to do something if you want something to happen automatically like let's say like sending an email to your manager or creating another record in some other object okay if something like that you want to happen automatically in the back end by salesforce then you have processes available using which you can automate these things okay so in salesforce there are three types of process automation tools okay so one is workflow rule okay then there is approval process and there is process builder so i'll just give you a brief introduction about these things but we will uh, go with workflow rules today okay so workflow rule is very similar to process builder okay uh, process builder is like a pictorial representation of building a process step by step it's like a flow chart okay like a flow chart if some criteria is there if the entry criteria is there uh, then you want something to happen and you can chain it step by step okay you can create a chain of events okay just like that you have process uh, approval uh, workflow rule as well okay so in a workflow rule there are two important things one is the entry criteria okay and one is the action that you want okay so in a workflow rule the first thing is entry criteria okay entry criteria is uh, just like a formula field like we create a formula field uh, if some condition satisfies then you have to do this right you want that value to be populated so just like that you have to give one condition a boolean condition if it's it will be true or it will be false so if the condition is true whatever condition you give let's say uh, if the close date okay if the close date is less than three days okay this just for an example this is a entry criteria in, in an opportunity the close date is less than three days then you want something to happen so entry criteria if it is satisfied okay if it results into true then action will happen okay for action uh, you want to uh, send a reminder email to the rep okay so such kind of things you can automate using the workflow so nobody has to manually check if the close date is coming uh, less than three or not nobody has to do that automatically salesforce will do that okay and in action there are two kinds of actions okay one is immediate action okay something that you want to happen immediately one is immediate action and one is time-based action okay let's say you want to schedule something for a uh, little after some time if you want to schedule it like every day at 10 a.m if you if you want to check uh, for a uh, close date less than three everybody is logged in at 10 uh, 10 a.m and you want to send a reminder at that time particularly okay so that will be like a time based okay okay all right so uh let's take a look into a workflow rule okay and let's see how to work okay so as you see here it's written that many of the tasks you normally assign an email use regularly send or other record updates are part of organization standard process so normal in normal organization email sending and uh, 
recording some kind of update is happening or uh, if you want to assign some task something like that these small small processes okay so instead of doing this work manually if you want to configure that uh, in salesforce to do it automatically you can do that using workflow okay so a workflow there are different types of actions or different types of uh, uh, actions that will be uh, in the organization's process it, it will be automated okay like tasks email alerts field updates or outbound processes okay so let's say if you want to assign a new task to a user or if you want to send an email to your manager regarding something if something happens then you want to send an email so these kind of actions you can achieve or if you want to update any field so if uh, uh, if the uh, deal is um, like of a high amount okay then you want to check some box okay check a field that it's a high high value deal that also you can achieve using the uh, workflow rule okay or if you want to send an outbound messages okay this is using api this we'll see later okay outbound messages is sending messages out of the salesforce to a different organization okay so uh, these four kind of actions you can achieve using a workflow and so in the workflow what it consists of it has a criteria that's called entry criteria okay the criteria that cause the workflow rule to run so if the criteria is met then the workflow will run okay and as i said there are two types of actions one is immediate action one is time based action okay so immediate action execute when a record matches a criteria okay and uh, time based action when record matches a criteria execute according to a time trigger so there will be a timer running okay according to the time that you schedule the action will be taken okay for example salesforce can automatically send an email reminder to the account team okay in the high value opportunity is still open okay 10 days before the close date so if the close date is coming uh, very close and still the opportunity is in open stage if it has not been uh, closed and the shipment has not started okay you want to send an email reminder to the accounts team so the accounts team will take care of the billing and stuff and they will go ahead and uh, initiate the shipment process okay or if any very high value opportunity is created then automatically an email if um, has to be sent to the account team that you can achieve using the workflow rule okay so let's just try to create a workflow rule okay so there are already a couple of uh, workflow rules that we have created initially so i'll just deactivate them okay almost all of them are uh, inactive I'll just deactivate this one as well okay so we will create a new rule to access creating a new workflow rule you just have to go to setup okay just go to setup in the setup you just type workflow rule okay under workflow rule uh, rules and approval you will get it here you just click on this you'll get a list of all the workflow rules just continue here that is already uh, existing in your organization from here you can also manage the workflow rules if they are active or not if they want to if you want to change something in the uh, workflow rule you can also do that from here okay yes these are already created ones okay and from here you can uh, manage the list view of the workflow rule okay how to manage this list as of now in this org it's uh, only like 10 or 15 of them are there so but in organizations there might be a lot of workflow rules so to manage that you have to manage the view okay just like a normal list view you can also go ahead and do that here okay and if you want to create a new rule you just click on this 
okay so you have to choose the object on which object do you want that workflow rule to work okay so as of now we will choose uh, let's say opportunity we will choose okay we'll choose open opportunity this is the first step to select the object okay the second step should be the entry criteria okay so what is the name of this workflow rule so just choose high value deal okay uh, this is a high value deal please be careful okay so let's say if you want to send an email okay to the sales representative or to the accounts team okay if you want to send an email to the accounts team automatically if a high value deal is cracked okay so in evaluation criteria there are situations okay so if you want the workflow rule to work only if a new record is created okay then you have to choose this okay if you cho choose it only for the created then you cannot uh, do a time based okay in the time based actions you can't take here okay if you choose only for created okay and if you want something to happen if you want the workflow rule to work if that um, every time the record is created and also every time it is edited okay so in that case you can go ahead and choose the second option or if you want to it the workflow rule to work every time the criteria is uh, every time a record is created and it's updated but not just updated updated to also meet a like of uh, criteria okay in that case you have to choose this one okay in these two options you get the uh, option to uh, do a time based action okay what if you choose only for the record is created then you will not get an option to do a time based action okay that we'll see now okay so we'll choose criteria is met okay and you can choose the field what criteria you want to match okay so let's say amount amount equals or amount is greater than let's say 50000 okay so if the opportunities amount is greater than 50000 then you have to send an email okay amount greater than 50000 then immediate action okay as of now we don't have any <clears throat> actions so we can add a workflow action okay as you can see here the types of actions that you can do usually there will be four types of actions one if you can assign if you want to assign a task you can assign a task or you can send email alerts you can update a field or you can do a outbound messages okay or if you already have sorry hmm so you have to choose you'll get to choose it yes yes okay so as of now we'll just choose a new email alert okay if you want you can assign new task as well okay so you see assign to field is there so whom do you want this task to assign okay so that's how so let's say as of now here in this org uh, i'm the only user okay so i will assign the task to myself okay so in the subject field uh, high value deal so in the task in the task you will have a subject right and and there will be like content so in the subject this will be highlighted okay that high value deal is correct whatever i type here is is created okay and the unique name is the api name okay
Okay. You can put the comments. Priority, normal, high, low, whatever you can choose. Okay, so we will choose high. Okay, as it's a high value deal, we choose high. And we will choose save. Yes. Hmm. No, he will be getting a new task. Yeah, so if you want, you can add emails as well. So we'll create one new email letter as well. Okay. Description. Uh, High value deal. Okay opportunity what is the email template so in salesforce there's an object for email template all, all as well okay where you can create a email template okay so or you can go to setup and you can find email here okay email templates okay from here you have to choose an email template if you want a new template to create you can create a new template as well so that you don't have to type the emails okay so yeah so you can just use this reference okay so he, this is also a record that you're creating so if you uh, everything that is saved in salesforce is in a form of a record so this uh, an id will be generated for this one as well Okay, so we'll choose a text. Okay, select the field type. Email template name, uh, I value deal. Okay, description, coding not required, subject, I value deal is created. I I value deal is created. Please follow through. Okay. Thanks. Okay, and you can save this. Okay, now under here, just refresh this. Okay, and we'll get the new template. Okay. It has not updated once. One second. You will just cancel this. Okay. As of now, one task criteria is there. Okay. So we'll just refresh this. Let me see if this. So, okay. Okay. So, this is not yet available for use. Okay, so we'll have to make it available for use. Okay, so we have to make it available for use. Then we click save. Okay. Now, if we refresh, it should be available for our use. And then we can create a email alert. Okay, and we choose new email alert. Okay, okay, email template. Uh, hey. Okay. 
okay we'll choose this template uh you choose the recipient type is a user itself so that's fine okay so we have to choose the user uh, let's say you want to send it to this person okay so if you want to send an additional email you can also do that okay current user's email address make this address default for no not required so we'll choose save okay so as of now this workflow rule is not active okay so we have to make it active okay in that case only this will work so we have to just activate it okay so now this workflow rule is activated so what we can do is we will go ahead and create an opportunity yeah have a deal is created so evaluate the real uh, rule when the record is created and anytime it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria so we can also edit any of the deals to make it a high value deal okay or let's start with a new deal so amount we have to choose something which is more than 50000 okay and uh, opportunity name uh, let's say ibm deal okay stage uh, prospecting we'll choose okay close date let's choose here okay click save okay so high value deal is created now okay and if i go to my home page okay see one reminder has come okay that high value deal is created now okay so we will dismiss this and if i go ahead and check my email i should also have got an email regarding this It takes just a minute, not more than that. It's very quick. Or maybe the email that I have. this is my email so the email is fine maybe it will just take some time 
yeah, because the email is correct this is the email that it will come up to <sighs> okay so that is how a simple workflow ruler works okay so email alert uh, there are lots of and lots of instances where you can use the workflow rule okay in every scenario that you can think of where you want to automate the process on cre on 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 uh, any activity like on creation of any new record or on on update of any of the existing records if you want something to happen okay automatically then you can do that using the workflow rule and as i said already that in the workflow rule there are four major criteria uh, four major things that you can achieve you can create a new email you can create a new record you can uh, update the record all as well or you can send uh, outbound messages okay you can create a task as well okay so uh, let's say let's take another example for a workflow rule okay we'll create another workflow rule so did you get the uh, idea like uh, why to use workflow in which situation should we use workflow yeah to cut down manual work or else you know in a high high value deal or something you will have to do, go ahead and do that manually send an email to somebody or uh, update any uh, field okay in that case you have to you can automate all those processes okay so let's say we'll create a new rule okay we'll create a new workflow rule and we will create it in the opportunity itself okay let's choose an opportunity click next okay so what we'll try to achieve is if in case if a new uh, if a uh, deal is closed uh, lost okay let's say if a deal is closed lost okay so in that case if you want to uh, send uh, um, an email to a manager or if you want to update a field okay if you want to update the field in the description in the description field of the opportunity if you want to update that something like uh, this uh, deal is closed lost okay any update you want to do on any of the field in the same uh, object or if you want also cross object you can also do that okay so we'll choose Mm, deal closed lost okay so this we want okay edited to meet subset okay fine so criteria are met field so every time somebody updates the opportunity stage yeah so if it equals to we'll get the pick list value here okay so if it's closed lost okay insert the selection next okay so we just have to choose one workflow action so if you want to uh, one field update we want to update a field okay oh let's say update field okay mm, update field on uh, every deal closed lost okay so if you want to update that in op account also so if there is any, any relationship between the objects you can achieve the cross object as well okay you want to update something in the account you can do that okay because opportunity and the account is related okay but without any relationship between the objects you cannot achieve the cross object okay so in that case as of now we'll choose object uh, opportunity okay and what field you want to update uh let's say probability will automatically be updated okay and the stage will also be updated 
so what we will choose will we'll choose the description okay click next reevaluate workflow rule after the field change use a blank use formula to set the new value blank value Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we have to activate that. right okay so you have to activate okay so under the activated deal close lost okay so now if you go to the opportunity and uh, let's say we create a new opportunity or we have an existing opportunity we just created right recently <laughs> this one okay so here if the stage we change it to close lost okay and we save it Let's just check our workflow rule once. Deal lost. Okay. This field is it? Okay. 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 Mm. 
let's find new field value not a blank value just try to choose it like this and Okay, so it's done. It's already active. So now if we go back to our opportunities and if we let's say test this one. Okay, and it's already closed one. So we will just change it to close lost and we will save. Okay, so this description field has been updated according to the formula. Okay, so the update field, the description. Okay. So whatever the description that you put, that is not updated. Okay, but in the formula, if you see here, okay, it's asking you whether you want that field to be a blank value or you want that field to populate something. Okay, so in populate something, you have to put it uh, with a quotes. Under quotes, whatever text you want, you can put it here. Okay. Okay. So along with that, you can anytime go ahead and uh, add and uh, you can edit that rule as well. And you want to add some more criteria, you can also go ahead and uh, add the criteria. Okay, like if you want to add some more conditions or if you want to add some more actions, you can go ahead and you can do that. Let's say if you have a deal lost, uh, deal closed lost. Okay, in this, if you want to uh, add another, so if the opportunity stage is equal to close lost, okay or opportunity stage is uh, opportunity amount is or uh, yeah or let's say amount is very less okay if the amount is very less then maybe the manager will not approve it or something okay so if the amount uh, is less than Yeah, let will do less or equal. So this one also you can choose. If it's less than, let's say hundred dollars. Okay. If it's like so low, then manager will automatically disapprove that. So in that case also, it will go to lost. Okay. So you can add more criteria criteria as well. Okay. And if you want to, here we have not added any time based. Okay, we cannot add the time based because this is only on a uh, update of a field or uh, like creation of a new uh, record. Okay, you have to choose a second option that I will show you one second. Okay. Okay. So something. Okay. So only in this condition, okay, on only on this evaluation criteria when the record is created and every time it is updated to meet a certain criteria. Okay. Only in this case, time based action will be allowed okay okay so that is what workflow rule is okay what i want you to do is i will give you certain um, there are a documentation okay where you have examples of lots of workflow rules so i want you to go ahead and practice that workflow rule okay so you can just search it okay there's a salesforce documentation itself okay workflow rule examples Okay, so they have given you certain scenarios where you can use the workflow rule. Okay, and also how to set it up.
okay not like step by step but they have all uh, shown you like what should be the entry criteria and things like that okay so let's say notify the sales vp about uh, cases that is filed on that for the top accounts okay like automating the either business process or if you want to achieve some cross object also so in cross object processes you can achieve only the, uh, those cross object functionalities where the objects are related okay if the object is either a lookup relationship or a master detail in that case you can achieve the cross object process okay if they are not related then you cannot achieve that okay or deal management is only related to the opportunity okay so let's say if you want to track some closed opportunities or uh, maybe you want to report the which is opportunity is closed lost okay so in that case you can go ahead and you can or you can send an email alert okay a notification so please uh, i want you to practice this okay because in workflow rules in interviews you will get lots of questions okay so so this business automation or process automation is very important okay so in order to understand in the process builder you need to have a clear understanding of workflow rule because process builder is also very similar to it okay but the question arises when to use workflow rule or when to use the process builder so to understand that uh, you have to know workflow rule okay okay so let me just ping you that Yeah, we can also start up in the evening if you want. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is there. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. okay 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 fine okay see actually we are moving very fast okay but you are not practicing enough okay there see workflow rule you got to know how workflow rule works but there are lots of situation where workflow rule is used okay so they will uh, in interviews they'll not ask you related to workflow rule explain me workflow rule they'll not ask you that they'll ask you situations yeah and in which scenarios you want to use workflow rule why you should go for workflow rule what is the difference between workflow rule and process builder why you should not rule uh, use work, uh, process builder okay like these kind of situations they will ask okay so you have to practice okay 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 see in the initial classes what we saw was uh, minor things okay that is just to set up the base okay but right now we are getting 